What is going on everybody? It is your boy Icy out here with a little tutorial from Loopside aka Papa Smurf. You already know we got them color filters on man. Y'all can't see my pretty face. Okay listen y'all uh, I got this little sample I'm gonna break down for you guys. Um, it's kind of like a Travis Scott, Mike Dean type sample. Kind of like synthwave stuff almost. Not really analog stuff. I'm just gonna break it down for you guys start to finish. How do I end an intro, bruh? I, I don't get it. Okay, y'all, so first off, I'm just gonna play you guys the sample, uh, give you guys a little preview. Alright y'all, so there's kind of two parts to this breakdown. Uh, I started with like this main sample and then I just uh, kind of exported it and then added everything else. I'm gonna start off with this little bell sound. Um, it's a really basic MIDI. Uh, just took this and then dragged it over. One, two, three, four, five. And that's how that happened. So uh, here I'm gonna play it for you guys. Alright, so that's the first sound. Uh, I actually layered it with this sound. And I made that this. After that, I added this little bell tone thingy sound that just kind of used it to layer it. Kind of just added some layers, uh, didn't really do too much. And then uh, I added this bass, which I'm just gonna use this bass. Uh, I'll show you the MIDI. Um, All right, those three sounds, well, four sounds are from uh, Pierce Patillo, um, one of his one-shot kits. I think uh, it's Unorthodox is the name of it. Um, and I took that, by the way, and I pitched it down to it, and this is what it sounds like. Alright, so after that, I added this little uh, laugh effect. Made it sound like that. Uh, I used a phaser, just a basic phaser preset, uh, just the basic convolver preset, and then I used this plugin called Moodle, I think is how you say that. Um, just, it's kind of a plugin that uh, shows reflective surfaces uh, and like what it sounds like off of them, so that's what I used to make it sound all washy. And then I got a little. Uh, EQ just be boosting some of the highs. Uh, after that, I added this little sound effect. Just like trickling down, something like that. Didn't add too much to it, just some reverb. And then after that, this is what it sounded like. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the second part of the sample. Uh, this is kind of just layering it and filling it all out. So first, I added this uh, little ambience uh, sample. Um, and with that, I used an EQ that like 
really just boosted the high mids, uh, low pass and a high pass. And then I used um, some Valhalla, uh, just really basic reverb, make it a little more drown out. And then after that, I added this little uh, laugh effect. It's kind of delayed pretty interesting just a little kind of the same uh thing and then that has this little preset um the itch delayed vocal uh left everything pretty much as it is i think i boosted the high cut a little bit and then i added this little ambience I kind of just uh, used that to separate um, the first nine bars from the second nine bars. Um, kind of just made that uh, a little different. And then I added this last uh, little vocal effect. Which that, it's just Valhalla, this, this preset. Um, it's from Don Gun. It's the SRAN's dark wide box preset. Um, turn the mix down a little bit. Um, and that's about it. Uh, just made it sound kind of washy. And then this is what it sounded like. Okay, so after that, um, I just thought it was kind of missing a little something in this uh, second half. So what I did, I went just looking on YouTube for some stuff. Uh, I found this um, announcer talking about some sort of exhibition match uh, it's with uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh, it was kind of like inspirational or something. Uh, and that's what it sounds like without the effects. The tree of the confident young Cassius Clay. One of the most unique companies Sounds just a little basic, wouldn't fit in with it much. So I uh, did a low pass and a high pass, boost the high mids. And then I went in effect rack. I did the basic vintage punch preset from the basics. And then in Valhalla, just basic, basic reverb, uh, just to get it a little more ambient. And then this is what it sounds like. Victory of the confident young Cassius Clay. One of the most unique confrontations to play the few and then after that, I've got this little uh, transition effects into kind of the outro part. And that just kind of makes this part a little more elegant. And uh, since the uh, whole sample is kind of arranged a little bit weirdly, uh, I kind of stemmed everything out uh, to make it sound, you know, a little better uh, so that if anyone wants to use any of the parts, they can arrange it however they want to. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys the final sample again. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Loopside Records on the way up, baby. Check the socials in the descriptions. Uh, check out all the homies. We're posting content 24-7. Check out uh, RoXL. He's the GOAT. Uh, check out Ash for editing this video. You're also the GOAT. Uh, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.